you search the file from the directory structure, apply the hash function, then search only the block cap. <coughs> yeah, it has a multiple file, but it can be used to the 20%. Search a huge reduction. Only using only one function, single function. So that is the reason hash function still used a lot for indexing. That is a hash index. But as a, with this, as I introduced, it has the same problem. Any hash algorithm has the same problem. That is a solution uh, that can be addressed by the several solution, but it depends on the okay. Then next problem is how can we allocate? So this is based on the block. So when you So let's go back to our example. This is an NTF class. So I try to develop the personal portable file system. It's a simple file system that running on the NTF app. So when you create the open the file system PFF, that will you need to format. Okay? What is the formatting that we discussed before? It makes the structure. So this one will be based on the block. 0 to 1024. This amount will be used for directory structure. And this one will be used for file system. Then, then we have discussed what is the FCP, FCD and what is the directory structure, how to organize the FCD in the directory structure. Next thing is for each file, so file A, B, C, how to allocate the free block for your file system. That is the allocation method. The ninth way is what? The easiest way. It's contiguous allocation. You can allocate, for example, the first file ABC. File ABC requires 10 block. You can find 10 contiguous blocks. If you can find. If you cannot find, error. Right? Yes. How do you determine that it needs 10 blocks? 10 blocks? It's, it's a user will. I try to create create a file, the template. For the one block is a 512 byte. For example, suppose that, then the it is the 5K. So I try to create a file, 5K. Then your file system <coughs> need to allocate the template to the ABC file. Then first approach is find the 10 contiguous block. Okay, that is a contiguous allocation. Simple. Which means that's the performance problem. You have to be the fragmentation problem. Yeah. Okay. The fragmentation problem is a, so this is the contiguous location. So this is a, your directory structure. So directory structure not only FCD. In the FCD you should have the start address, start log ID, and end or length log ID. For example. Count is a 0 to 2, which means it start at 0, block number 0. Where do you get the such a number? When you format, when you start your file system. So in this case, it's 0 to 31, 32 block. So when your file system has the operation to create a file, okay? I'd like to create a file count, okay? File size is the 2 block, then it doesn't have to be 2 block. You can specify the file size, like the 600 megabyte, 600 byte. At the time, you need the two block. Okay, so that is the zero and the how many block length? Two. So this is a count. And for example, list start from 28 and one, two, three, four. So if you want to create the, a new file that need the ten block. Even though you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, more than 10 available blocks, you cannot create it. This is a contiguous allocation. Can you, can you go back to the slide? Yes. It's the same thing. <coughs> then next level is extent. Because it has too many fragmentations. Two, two, four, two. So you can make the group of contiguous blocks. The block is a, what is a block? 
It's a basic question. What is the block? It's a unit of what? I. It's an input and output. Okay? So when you read the data, even one byte, entire block will be returned. But if we are using this one, usually a file need more than one block. Maybe sometimes the millions of block. If you create the video file, one gigabyte, two gigabyte, several gigabyte, you need a lot of block. So, but if you assign the block by block, you cannot find the continuous block. So, to reduce such an external fragmentation, we can make the proof at the initial O, 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 and so on. So, this is called extend. Extend is the contiguous available block at the beginning. So, instead of managing the block by block, you can manage extend. So, how can you allocate the extend? When you create a file, instead of the block ID, extend number or extend ID. So count, <coughs> even though you need the two block, one extend will be allocated. You can reduce the external fragmentation. The problem, there will be internal fragmentation. But this approach is used a lot in real application because of 512 byte is too small nowadays comparing to the file size or total I.O. size. So we are going to use a little bit bigger the I.O. It's not I.O. unit, but it's a logical unit of a group of the block that is called extend. Database use such an extend. And operating system also use such an extend. Even though it has a little bit internal fragmentation, we can avoid the huge external fragmentation. So that is the extend. The extend is the logical unit, contiguous block. Okay. The next approach for allocation is linked. Let's take a look at this example. Then you can easily understand. So I'd like to create the file zip. Okay. It starts from the nine. Then I need it and 25, which means so just to go to the start, the ninth block, that is the, this one, then it has the link for the next. Do you remember the linked list? The data structure is the same in this, okay? So next, 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 that is the final end, okay? Benefit? No external fragmentation. Okay, you can use any block. Problem? It's complicated. Complicate and also takes a time to search the data in the file. So for example, my data is here. You don't know. So first, is it, is it, is it, is it? Yes. Isn't there a, a, a variable block size in order to, you know, to, you know, to solve the problem? Uh, you mean the optimize the block size? Yes, variable, maybe two or two different sizes. Nowadays, operating system, his question is, is there any the solution to avoid the, ex, the internal okay. fragmentation? So to address that one, for example, if we are using 512 byte only, sometimes we have the internal fragmentation, but a lot of external fragmentation. However, if we are using bigger size of block, it will cause a lot of internal fragmentation. Even though we lose, we avoid some external fragmentation. Because of that, the, for example, Sun OS provides multiple different the, the block size, like the 512 byte, and the 1K, and 2K, and 4K. Depending on the characteristic of the file, you can assign different block I.O. But eventually, physical that it will use the same I.O. that is usually 512. Okay. So, so, link to all, yes. How is this link? 9 and 8 to 7. So, end of the, this file, this is a 512 byte. You need to use the 4 byte for the 
link of the next, address of the next. <coughs> yes. So that is the reason you may lose the sum space a little bit. Okay? You may lose the usually provide, but anyway, that is the one percent, almost one percent of the total uh, space. So for this one you're saying start nine and twenty five. Mm -hmm. So it runs to the whole list and come back to twenty five? Yes. So for example, if you want to access the data in this block, this block, you need to go to the 9, 16, 1, 10, then finally you can access the data. That's the show crime, drawback of this software. But benefit, no fragmentation. If you can use any block, so that's available. That's discussed over here. So that is the uh, link. Okay, so benefit. And FAT, the file system, it's an old file system used in the Windows operating system. FAT 16, FAT 32, they used such a linked uh, list allocation. Linked allocation. And that has a <coughs> file allocation table. Like the, in the directory structure, this is called the file allocation table. That is the reason F80. F80 16, F80 32, depending on the size of the block. So it's an entry, and there's so many entries. That is the, uh, the F80 file allocation table. It has the end, actually, end of the block. It has a pointer to the next block, and 339, and that's the end. Okay. So the real allocation. Any better idea? Do you think it's easy to implement? Not easy, actually, when you implement. So last, based on the last semester, our project, most of all students actually use contiguous. Contiguous is easy to implement. Okay? Actually, the assumption is we are not going to consider any performance like the fragmentation. So students select, the, I think the whole of the students select the continuous. Any idea for better? Yes. Hash map. <coughs> Hash map. Hash map. For what? To each file? Yeah. So how can you use the hash map to consider? It's a similar idea, but because you mentioned the hashing function, I wonder how you can use a hash to match. Well, you a hash function is a asso association between two things, so mm -hmm. you can use like file and location. Mm -hmm. But how can you find the eventually the exact location of the file? Through the hash function. Sometimes it may have the collision. Yeah. Yeah, not too busy. So, sim similar idea is index allocation. <coughs> so, you just replace the hash by the index, which means you have the list of the blocks ID. Okay? For each file. So, Jim has the, it used the only study, that study includes the index, the list of the log ID used in this file. So by accessing only one file, you can organize many, many different ways for this. It can be linear, it can be ordered, it can be indexed, it can be whatever, okay? But in this case, it's ordered. So 9, 16, 1, ordered by order of the file. So 9 is the beginning of the block, and next, next. It's not ordered by the block ID number. Then minus one, minus one, minus one means it's available. It's not used yet. So you can still use the, this one. So this is the index. Then you can apply some, the searching algorithm to find the exact block. Okay, so this one, is the... One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, five. So you have the five. That means this block, so this data, E, J, E, O, this block is a 9, 16, 1, 10, and so on. So you have all 
the divide of the tensor of the phi. Mm -hmm. This is a block ID, okay? This thing and one that is physically in your phi system. Okay. Index, this is called the index per location. So contiguous and linked list are linked allocation and the uh, index allocation. So when you implement uh, this one, your phi system, okay? Your phi system, your application will implement the, this one of this allocation. One more. So this is an index allocation. So the one block will be used for index table. Okay? That is the then maybe when you have the large the file, you should have the bigger size of you need a, a multiple the block or index table. However, it provides the random access. Okay, we know the address, the each file has the uh, relative address, so you can easily find the exact location of the file. So you can easily implement the random access using the index allocation. What are they, by the way? The continuous allocation, link allocation, index allocation. It's the allocation of the block for file in your file system. So your file system need to implement such a allocation method. Do you think which one is better? <coughs> index? It's complicated. <laughs> what if I have a very simple file? When you check the, your file system, the not all files are the one megabyte, two megabyte. You, so many of the files is less than one K. It's a very small file system file. So at that time, contiguous allocation is enough, right? But when you have a big file, it needs all of so we can consider kind of a hybrid way. <laughs> so for the small file, we can use contiguous. And uh, for the big file, or the that require random access, we can use index allocation, or even linked one. So Unix file system use it. I'm going to skip this part. This is uh, just a straightforward. So how to organize such an index? It's not a problem of the operating system. You can think about the what if index entry is a two B. You can make the index of index. But this the this one, the index of index. Eventually it will be three structure. And three structure will be B3 index, B plus 3 index, as we have done in the database. So, I want to. so in Unix system, why don't we consider something smaller for the smaller file? We can directly so continuous allocation. But if the file is large and need the sub such an index, so we can have the double level of the index and triple level of the index. This is called inode structure, which is very popular in Unix system. The so Unix system uses such a uh, inode, the data structure. This is called inode. Index structure, uh, directory structure. So total, if you actually the calculate the maximum size of the file system, that is the four gigabyte in case under 32 bit address. That is the reason. Now, right now, there might be virtually no limitation to create a file. But the several years ago, you can create a file up to four gigabyte in Linux system because of the this the inode data structure. So actually. When I, uh, I didn't take the operating system class, instead I directly took the uh, advanced is a distributed file system, a distributed operating system class when I was the student. At the time, one of the exam question was to calculate 
the maximum size of the file using given inode data structure. I still remember. It was very, very complicated, but you don't have to. But that determined the maximum size of the file. So address. So if you see the <coughs> inode something in the Linux or Unix system, inode means the index node using directory structure to allocate the block to the file. Okay, that is the inode structure. Okay, so I'm going to start here. Uh, Next class, we will continue the performance of the environment and also how to manage the free block. Okay.